Hello everyone, I'm going to tell you about the arrival of the new printer, the Prusa XL 5 head pre-assembled printer. I pre-ordered this printer in November 2K21 and it finally arrived in November 2K23. In the meantime, Preza has improved this printer to make it marketable. I assembled this kit by carefully following the assembly instructions on the Preza website. This isn't my first Preza kit, and I know how important it is to follow the instructions. For this printer, some parts are already assembled, as well with the Core X event. Here it is. Given the size of this printer, and if you haven't assembled the similar kit, I think the level of difficulty is relatively high on this machine. As for my assembly, I just had a problem with the LCD screen ground cable. It has to follow the multi-step path. And at the end, when I had to connect it on the rear board, its length was no longer sufficient. And I had to disassemble and reassemble part of the printer to correct the problem. Some parts are quite heavy to handle. I show here with the real plate carrying all the power supply. Electrical compliance seems to be well taken care of. Some parts are not always easily accessible, but that's often the case with these kits. Assembly went smoothly here, taking between three and four hours. Fixing the connectors is a tricky business. And it's a good idea to check several times before moving on to the next step. The heating bed is quite impressive. The quality is very, very good. Due to the size of the printer, its weight is not to be underestimated. It weighs around 25 kilograms um, I think this printer will be more loud than uh, MK4 or MK3 because of the belt path and uh, because it requires more powerful motor The fastening system remains a mystery at this stage This box is contained FADAM sensor in addition to those in the head. Installing the head bracket is a rather confusing step, as I wasn't expecting this type of mounting. 
but are it be hard pressed to give him advice. As you can imagine, it's be thought out and rethought. Connecting the head. Teflon tubing contain more than a meter of film. At the end of the spool is this sensor that triggers the printer pause. You lose one meter twenty centimeters of film each time. Here I put the five print head. The result is quite impressive. The calibration stage is very specific and very well explained. You have to be diligent. After the startup, I choose to print a file of my creation. Here are the EAP for Harian 5 European Launcher. One piece with the HESA logo and another one with European flag. In my case, it's important to make sure that each piece is cut out correctly. In the slicer, here it's uh, the Prusa slicer of course, import all the STL files at once and indicate that it's a part with several elements. Automatically, Prusa slicer will propose to allocate one head per color. The final, final rendering can be visualized. For my test, I had no blue, and my green and yellow filament were very, very old and of poor quality. You'll see once the parts are finished. Here you can see how you can manage the color as you want. At this stage, you can see how layer after layer is filled in. The movement of the nozzle can be visualized.
the printer is now running I took the opportunity to load the latest firmware 510 which uh, supports binary G code You can see the printer running. I choose the Heise logo because it's made up of a multitude of fine lines. Some are less than 0.5 mm, but even with 0.6 mm nozzle, the printer was happy to take them. There will be other 500 tool change for this model. We leave it running while we do something else. There's no point in standing in front of it. You can see that instead the blue I used a hairy gray. I cut the sound of the printer for now. At the end of this video, you can hear the real sound quite loud. In the final rendering, the Heise logo comes out rather well. I was expecting worse. For the flags, there was a lot of crossing between the front and the rear and my green and yellow filament showed their inability to be the job. Too old. Here is the tower used to balance pressure between two range. Compared to the decay method, the difference in rendering is obvious. Smooth and bland for the decay, and rough and colorful for the XL. It's still a first attempt. I'll end this video by leaving you with the Prusa XL for the another test drive. This printer is imposing in size, quite inexpensive, and impressionable in quality. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.